As far as the opportunities are concerned, I see them the following way. The first one is the growing needs of the clients everywhere, both in the developed and the in, in the emerging world. More and more people are coming out of poverty in the emerging world. They need protection. It's an opportunity for us. More and more people are faced to very serious issues in developed countries concerning their retirement, their health coverage, concerning the way they can protect their ownerships in, in everything, in their houses, of cars, of everything. So growing needs are an opportunity for us. The second thing which goes with it is the appetite for guarantees, protection and advice. This is the second opportunity we have. We have to take advantage of public policies to promote financial inclusion. Uh, we have to use uh, properly technologies in order to apply them to modernize distribution channels. We have to respond with uh, innovation, uh, modernizing the insurance products, and uh, to adequate those products to the new needs that are arising with the new era. Uh, specifically, we have to respond uh, with good, uh, proper products for climate change. Well, there are many great opportunities for the insurance industry in today's Europe. First of all, there is the size uh, and the scope of Europe's single market, half a billion people. Uh, and uh, I think the insurance industry is only beginning to scratch the surface of the enormous potential of uh, the scale of the European market. Uh, there are also great opportunities in facing all the challenges of the current economic crisis, which as we all know is very severe and affects the insurance industry as it does many others. Europe desperately needs long-term investment in its economy, in its small and medium-sized companies, in its infrastructure. And the insurance industry has a considerable role to play uh, and opportunities as an investor. We live in a world where risk is increasing whether you look at climate change, increasing concentrations of risk, risks for new products and technologies, interconnectedness of supply chain, there's no doubt that risk in the world is on the up. Uh, and our industry is focused on facilitating the funding and transfer of that risk. So we should be logically in a good position to address uh, what will be an increasing demand trend. Furthermore, our business model has proven to be robust. We had a severe test with the last financial crisis and we came through much better than many other fi financial industries in the financial sector. So I think we should be in a very good position to address what is likely to be an increasing demand trend. Japan is the most rapidly aging society in the world and our situation may be experienced by other countries in the near future. Nevertheless, we do not simply regard an aging society as a risk. Aging may reveal limitation in the public social security system depending on the national budget status, but it may create big business opportunities for private insurance companies. Affluent senior and the retired generation can provide new growing markets. We are also aging. We have demographic projections uh, of which the insurance industry should be well aware and should be adapting, should be innovating uh, in its product offering uh, so as to meet the needs of Europeans tomorrow. We will need more health care, we will need more old age care. Uh, our state budgets will not be able to meet uh, all of those huge requirements. That's a challenge for the insurance industry uh, to rise to the occasion as well. The challenges facing the in the insurance industry are, for the key uh, ones, the evolution of regulation, it's a short-term challenge, very low long-term interest rates as we see them in some of the uh, developed countries, that's the second challenge and it's also a short to middle term one. More fundamentally, I think the biggest challenge we are faced to 
is access to clients because in our industry, which is a service industry, where we have to sell our products, our products are not spontaneously bought by our clients, access to clients is critical and there is a revolution in the way our clients behave, in what they expect from us with the digitalization of the processes, with the changes in the expectations. So regulation, very low long-term interest rates, access to clients are for me the three key challenges for the industry. Our biggest challenge is that we may become too inwardly focused. We have a number of challenges that are specific to our industry, including potentially regulatory reform, and that can detract from our market focus and our client focus. Uh, insurance is a very efficient and effective way to transfer risk, and it needs to stay that way. The biggest challenges in the insurance industry, globally speaking, uh, we have to work together with our authorities, uh, G20, uh, IAIS, uh, in order that they recognize that the insurance business model is different than the banking model, and then uh, recognize that insurance companies doesn't generate uh, systemic risk. In the case of uh, Mexico and Latin America, uh, we have to apply uh, properly the Solvency II model, the governance and the enterprise risk management, but it has to be in the proper moment. Uh, we don't have to push and stress, uh, stress the markets. And we have to balance between the uh, solvency of the market, the consumer protection, and on the other hand, the development of the insurance industries in Latin America. And uh, the insurance industry in Latin America, and specifically in Mexico, has to uh, have a greater participation in the social security model, uh, specifically in the pension uh, protection and in the health protection of the public. Insurance companies definitely have a unique role to play in a financial services, supporting the financial system as a whole, complementing the social security system, and providing long-term funding for the growth of the industry. From that standpoint, it would be important that the accounting and the solvency regime should not prevent the insurers from playing such an important role. Japanese consumers tend to prefer long-term contracts and it is our role to meet consumers' needs. A poorly designed economic-based solvency regime might bring significant volatility. Also, copying bank-minded rules would reduce diversity and might bring a negative impact on the financial stability.